All right, I'm going to take a few minutes and explain actually quite a complicated issue that I'm having with my Mac Pro 5, 1. Uh, now, if anyone has a solution, please uh, help me out down in the comments. I'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, so the, the other thing I should mention is watch this video in its entirety uh, from beginning to end uh, so you understand the uh, full extent of the problem before posting a solution. So don't watch like five seconds of the video and say, oh, I know what the problem is. Uh, just watch the, the video in its entirety, uh, you know, before, uh, you know, so you really understand the full extent uh, of the issue. So, uh, and I didn't script this, you know, it's nothing super, I'm not going to edit anything, uh, you know, just to explain this issue. Um, so I've had this Mac Pro uh, 2010 for a while now, a couple of years. And I haven't done much with it. Uh, it came basically in a stock configuration. Everything stock, uh, you know, except for a couple hard drives. So, basically, I had uh, Monterey installed uh, via the OpenCore Legacy Patcher. And I had that with the Radeon HD 5770. And it was running okay. But I was like, oh, I, I want to get some life out of this Mac Pro, maybe even use it for some production, and that's what I'm really hoping to do uh, if I can get this fixed. Because um, if I can't, that's really going to suck. But um, anyway, so I was, uh, you know, thinking, oh, I can put a metal-capable a metal -capable video card in. Uh, and so I did. I put a W5500, a Radeon Pro W5500, with 8 gigabytes of VRAM. That's the card that's currently in here. Now, I put the video card in, uh, I booted the system, uh, and it had video, you know, obviously because it was an open core, um, and then I, you know, it didn't have any graphics acceleration, so I was like, oh, I'm, I need to do the, uh, the post-volume patch, and so I did the post-volume patch, and apparently I did something wrong, or I have no idea, because then afterwards it started boot looping, uh, and then I, you know, I kind of gave up and installed... Uh, the stock Radeon HD 5770, and lo and behold, it still had the boot loop issue. Uh, so I have no idea what that is, and I don't even really care. Now, then I decided, well, since I have the Radeon HD 5770 still in this machine, why not just nuke the open core installation, because it doesn't work anyway, and, uh, you know, reinstall High Sierra, uh, which is the last supported OS. And that is exactly what I did. I wiped everything, uh, installed the High Sierra, uh, and then did the DOS do to Catalina patcher, uh, which is what uh, how I installed Catalina on here. And then I uh, replaced the video card again with the Radeon Pro W5500, and it seems to work fine. But apparently, I am not knowledgeable, I actually know, that I am not knowledgeable with Mac Pros enough, uh, and I was seemed a little bit stupid, because I thought that, oh, I can just put the video card in and it's going to work, uh, you know, with no problem. And it, for the most part, sort of, works with no problem. Look, we can see we have full graphics acceleration here and, you know, we have no choppiness or anything like that. But then I noticed Blender doesn't work. Even with Radeon Pro Render, it freezes up. I was like, oh, shoot. Uh, and then I tried DaVinci Resolve and was noticing that that was not using the full GPU. Yes, it was using, uh, you know, like 50%, 75% of the GPU, and I could hear the fan running loud, and it was, you know, clearly it was using the GPU to render. Um, but it wasn't using the full potential. I was like, oh. Uh, and then I tried to render a project in 4K, and it rendered at 4 frames per second, and I was noticing that it was rendering on the CPU, and clearly something was wrong. So, I posted a thread on Mac Rumors, uh, you know, because I didn't do enough research, and I probably should have done more research before posting. Uh, and the guy who responded was like, basically referred me to another thread uh, about installing OpenCore. Uh, and, and so I was like, okay. And I started... Uh, you know, downloading all the, um, you know, all the dependencies for OpenCore, and I was like, this is so complicated, at least from my perspective, 
Uh, you know, it's it's not easy. Uh, and I was expecting this to be like open core legacy patcher style easy, uh, but no, uh, it was like modifying p lists and you know which actually isn't that big of a deal. But but then you know uh, all the other stuff that goes along with it. So I sort of for the for right now for the moment I've given up on the open core thing. So then I realized that that is an that isn't even really a, a feasible way of doing this, because then, if I were to install macOS Monterey, or some newer version that requires the use of OpenCore Legacy Patcher, then probably, well, actually I know that for a fact, the EFI, all my hard work of getting the, the GPU to work fine here, is going to be overwritten by the OCLP EFI. Uh, and, and so that clearly isn't going to work. And so I need really just a solution. And, and, and really it's, as you can see in my note here, that the, the way the guy posed this was the only way to fix this is to use those custom kits. Um, and I tried loading them, you know, because I don't know anything about open core, so I tried to load them with pseudo kext load, and obviously that didn't work. Um, and so then, as you can see in my note, like, what if I want to install Monterey? What the hell is going to happen to the EFI? And it, you know, obviously, since it's open core legacy patcher and it's overwriting the EFI, unless I install it on an external disk, I guess, but that's a whole different thing, then it's, and even then it wouldn't work because it has to load those kicks on boot. So, so really that's not even a feasible option. So is there a way, this is my question, is there a way for me to just do OCLP, Open Core Legacy Patcher, just like you would normally, have it work flawlessly with no text, stupid loading of kecks, because that is what I want to have happen, and I've seen other people use OCLP on a, uh, on a Mac Pro, that they upgraded the video card, and it seems to work just fine. They're, like, using OBS and stuff. So maybe that's just the answer to this. But really, this is just me kind of also just thinking aloud about this. But really, um, if you could kind of confirm this, do you have a, a Mac Pro 4,1 Flash 5,1 or a real uh, 5,1 um, that you upgraded the video card to, to, to a, subst a substantially upgraded video card. I'm, I'm not talking like Radeon HD 5770 to 59. Like I'm talking about like what I have in here currently. Uh, that, that is what I'm talking about. Um, and, and we can even prove this, right? Look at this. Uh, look at this in the stats. Uh, CPU, the GPU is like barely even being used. So, um, so anyway... Uh, that's this kind of little mini rant, whatever you want to call it, but um, please, please address this uh, in, in the comments if you have a solution. If there's no solution, then I don't know, I've wasted a bunch of time. Well, I've wasted a bunch of time anyway trying to get open core on here, but regardless, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how helpful this is really going to be. Uh, but uh, maybe I will put, uh, if there's a solution, maybe I will uh, make a video on that solution. So there we go. Uh, thanks for watching till the end, if you did. <coughs> uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.